we spend a lot of time on the computers uh, and, and especially on the computers, we spend a lot of times on the browser, uh, like, you know, doing our work, maybe our personal work, email, messaging, uh, surfing, reading the articles, etc. And personally, I spend my 80% of the time, uh, like, you know, on the browser uh, to do different work. So given that, there are a lot of risks when we are browsing because a lot of attacks, if you, uh, we, we're going to see later on in this video that that happens due to uh, like, you know, maybe clicking the wrong link or maybe downloading the wrong extension and stuff like that. So, so, so if we look at the different risks that we have uh, while, while we are looking, uh, surfing through the internet and, and imagine if you're using like, you know, the same laptop to do your work, uh, like for whichever company you're working for and also doing the personal work, you are putting that business data or the customer data at risk as well. And that is very, very critical. So you have to take appropriate action uh, to secure the data. You have to, to be very, uh, like, you know, cognizant about the, uh, the, the like, you know, uh, pages you are visiting or the, or the message that you are receiving or, and, and actions you are taking while browsing the internet. So I'm going to uh, show you one of the products that I've been using it and, and I've seen it's pretty much useful. It, it has a lot of features uh, which will keep you uh, safe online and secure. So let's get into it. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button yet, uh, please do. So, so we are talking about the uh, browsing risk, right? There, there are a lot of uh, risk here. Uh, the, the first and most, uh, I guess, devastating impact it could have uh, is the phishing attack. Uh, recently, we must have seen uh, the Uber hack, which happened. And then due to that Uber hack, a uh, lot of uh, data of the, you know, their, their customer database, such as mine, like who I'm the rider of the Uber, customer of the Uber, or maybe I'm, I'm driver of the Uber or um, subscribe to Uber Eats, whatever that case is, my data got disclosed. Uh, if if an employee doesn't know where to click and, and, and like, you know, doesn't follow the security best practices while, while browsing the internet, your business could be at, at immense risk. Uh, next thing is malware. We are seeing every day that like, you know, if you're, if you're browsing certain website and, and it has a lot of like, you know, pop-ups and advertise and, and in the back end, it might be installing uh, like, especially like if you haven't blocked the JavaScript, it can install the malware and stuff like that. Then you also have uh, plenty of extensions out there. Like there are millions of extension and you don't know which one you're installing maybe perhaps like you know you got a link from the from someone from social media or from your friend you click on it you install the extension and and you found it cool but ultimately it might be stealing your data there's information leakage there are a lot of hacks happening every day every day and there are a lot of information being sold uh, in the dark web which uh, probably we'll see in our dark web uh, series later on uh, but that information leakage you need to know right away and if you know that, okay, one of your information is leaked, probably you want to change, uh, so for example, password to your email address. If it if it has got breached, for example, when the Uber hack happened, probably my information was also uh, really revealed and like, you know, I need to change my password ASAP. If I don't get that notification right away, probably I would like, you know, putting my other uh, information and, and, and the passwords and credentials at risk as well. Then sometimes we also tend to download malicious like you know files especially if you're browsing in like in you know, a tor browser or some email providers who doesn't scan for viruses uh then then there's a there's obvious case you you don't and if you don't have antivirus scanner which will take a time to uh kind of like you know scan and realize this is a bad malware file then that's also a problem and and these are not i just highlighted like you know the most obvious problems there are many 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 more uh issues when you're browsing online so how do we tackle this how do we right and and first of all let's see an example i i probably masked like you know uh the username but today i got an email uh from costco so costco is a retailer uh wholesaler and i have an account there and i got this i got this uh email it says hello customer all over congratulations you have been received a reward you have been accepted to confirm your reward click here right like by looking at this and if you have an account with them you will obviously click on it but when i when i mouse like i did my mouse over there i saw the link was looking something like this so then let's okay let me 
click on this link. I have this uh, one of the extension installed, which we'll talk about later on. But you see, I, I copied and pasted this uh, URL here and it takes me to the uh, moisturizing.com. It's obviously not Costco.com. So that is, but if you, if you notice, uh, going back to our presentation, this one does not say this is moisturizing.com. It just says storage.googleaps.com. So anyone would think, okay, it's me. It's taking to like, you know, one of the valid URL because HTTPS, it's a Google, the name sounds familiar, trusted, etc. So you'll click on it and, and you might like, you know, give out your information, but that's not always the case. And that's where we need like, you know, the the security or some product which will help us be secure. And and given a lot of people uh, who are working for an organization are not technical, uh, maybe like, you know, they're working in marketing, maybe they're working in sales. So they are they are, They receive this email all the time, maybe on their personal email as well. And they don't have really good way to find out whether these are like, you know, actual emails or spam or phishing or not. Another example is this Awake Security. Uh, they published a report that identified 111 malicious Chrome browser plugins. And these plugins uh, in question could do things like bypass Chrome Web Store security scans, take screenshots, right? That's information leakage. Read the clipboards. Again, uh, it can read like your credentials. It's like a keylogger, uh, which we have seen like in one of our earlier video in the XSS playlist, if you know how do I create a keylogger and how do I install it. So that's pretty straightforward and record user keystrokes. So so the report says that uh, by May 20, the, the 111 extension had been downloaded by this many times. This is crazy. So why this user were not notified these are malicious extension? Maybe they are missing something, right? And, and that's why I want to talk about this product called Guardio. So Guardio is a browser extension uh, you can install in the Chrome or the Edge browser and it offers the online uh, monitoring uh, and security services. So it, it, you can think of it as like, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a first line of defense. As soon as you visit some pages and you download something, you install an extension or plugin, etc. It will first do a necessary check to make sure it is secure and it will prevent you downloading that right away if it seems like, you know, something, something fishy. Also, it will block some of the pages which obviously has been like, you know, seem like a phishing pages. So it does all of this. And then you can also uh, like, you know, see that all real time. So let's go back to here. So earlier in the day, I was I was just visiting one of the page and I found this um, uh, metamask.net. Uh, this is like, you know, a site where you have to submit your if you open this on any other page where I don't have this extension, it will let me go there. Uh, so you can try this out and it will ask you to provide your cryptocurrency wallet information and it's a, just a scam right so you don't want to visit that and and of course that's why like you know it blocked usually browsers will not uh, probably uh, notify you about this particular sites uh, the second one is this one uh, and this one was also sort of like a phishing site uh, so uh, this was again I received in my email I clicked on it and, and I was taken to this one of course I do my due diligence and only like you know check the URL uh, before clicking it you want to open it in the in the what do you call it a browser like incognito or the tour or something which is highly secure so you don't uh, reveal like much information and stuff like that but maybe we do this uh, not everyone can do that so that's why this kind of uh, like an extension will be very very helpful uh, then of course when you when you have the account with them uh, you also get like you know a lot of uh, added benefits so here you can, let's say you are running a small business you can also invite the members and then you can see all of their uh, like you know how they had how Guardia protected them as well so you can see all the details here of course I only have right now one so I can only see it for myself but as you can see, it will tell you how many security threats it blocked, how many data leaks my my email was involved in. Uh, that's pretty critical because as soon as I find about the new one, I immediately had to change my password. Then you can also see okay, what are the like you know sites I, that that were blocked. Um, then suspicious site alerts, dangerous download blocks, webcam and microphone alerts. 
So this one maintain privacy and get notified when access to your camera and microphone are still enabled on the open tab. Sometimes we do forget that we grant access because many times you would have seen when you're attending a meeting it will browser will ask you do you allow this browser to access your microphone cameras and etc. You allow it and then sometime this like you know fishy um, meeting providers they keep their access and and keep recording your stuff so you want to know those extension will also tell you like what are the extensions you have any malicious extension that you have downloaded here notification it will give you real-time notification notifications uh, so that's pretty good identity if your uh, like you know email has been um, uh, pro, uh, part of any of the recent breach so you can also see that and what data has been leaked so you can also see that uh, hijackers will allow you uh, hijacking attempts and direct you browsing to your preferred search engine so here you can configure like what's your preferred search engine and it will uh, help you detect that so that's uh, uh, pretty much like you know what you can uh, see here so it, it the the interface is pretty clean it's pretty straightforward yeah anyone can easily set it up it doesn't take much time probably less than 30 seconds and then uh, you can both the extensions that you can easily download i put the link in the description so do check it out if you are interested they do have 14 days trial so you can try it out and uh, see uh, like you know if you can i'm sure you'll get real value out of it so uh, i think i think that's about it but yeah i, I would like to hear about your thoughts and uh, like you know what are the other security uh, risk or scams that you have seen while you have browsing online especially being in the security field or maybe uh, just as a normal user and what are the other features that you would like to see uh, in this extension and stuff like that and and probably any other tips that you want to give to our community how to browse securely online so that's it for uh, this week i'll all see you next week and if you have any questions feel free to uh, put it in the comment box thank you so much